artist's property. So we are going to Screaming Heads. And if you've never heard of it, it's something really awesome. There's an artist who creates these great big massive sculptures called Screaming Heads. his property to the general public. It's pretty freaking awesome. I've been there before and I was totally blown away by how he's got his screaming heads displayed. And we're off on another adventure. Come along with me as we go and explore the screaming heads. These are so cool. You're gonna love them. Okay, let's begin our little track. You're supposed to start this way. scary. <laughs> There's camping across the way there. There's like a little ferry that pulls across. Oh. That's beautiful. There's another hand. Looks like that one cracked. bigger than mine. <laughs>
That's quite the hike around this property. It's 310 acres, but I don't know how much is actually where he has his sculptures. I read online that an aerial view of the sculptures gives you the form of a dragon, which I thought was really cool. This is really cool. And at night, they have strings of lights. And apparently, you can camp here. It's gonna cost you. I love that. <laughs> that is so cool. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes I believe that's the artist there, the guy sitting down. I can't be positive. I didn't want to go up and interrupt their conversation on the off chance that it wasn't the owner. But I think it is. They were asking him all kinds of questions. Oh boy, it's gotten really, really hot. Unbelievably. There's more to see. Believe it or not, there's lots more to see. But I'm sore and I'm tired. And I've been here once before. Across the road, there's a whole other section of these screaming heads. And this time, I got to go in an area that had been closed off before. They use it as camping for like groups and stuff like that. I don't know if there's individual camping. Check the website out to find out. And I don't know what the cost is. Now, to visit this property where the screaming heads are it's free they ask on the way out there's a donation box they ask for uh, a bit of a donation and you can buy souvenirs and i bought myself two screaming heads this one for a vehicle and this is just a regular sticker i don't know why i bought that one probably because it was yellow and yellow is my favorite color <laughs> but yeah this one, I'm going to start a sticker book. I'm collecting a lot of different stickers and they're fun as a little bit of a remembrance. So I'd like to have some kind of a scrapbook for them. Maybe put the sticker on and then just write a little blurb about it and maybe print off a picture and stick that there, which would be really fun. I do have the uh, passport for the provincial parks. I currently only have one Algonquin sticker. I kind of like to fill this book and this is what gave me the idea for the Screaming Heads booklet. Just something this big, not much bigger. Just something that I could write a little blurb about my impressions, like a little journal of that spot, you know, rather than a journal of the day and just collect stickers. Stickers are dirt cheap. Enough of that. I'm going to take a quick run across the street. It's about three hours from Toronto and I checked my triptych on my car and from when I set it, it's 111.5 kilometers and it's a nice drive. You can take um, a zigzaggy route going back, which will cost you three hours, <laughs> which is it's a beautiful, beautiful route though. There's a ghost town up there, back in Burks Falls. There's the covered walking bridge. Oh, there's there's so much to see in this area. But yeah, screaming heads. <laughs>